Hey my wonderful pair bears and welcome back to Gaming with Shelly. Many of you might recognise this little area, might recognise the fact that there's no electricity and we just have, you know, like the little, um, I think it's oil lamps. Now guys, is yes, this is the Decades Challenge household for our very first generation, but this is one of the things I am here to discuss. As much as I loved the Decades Challenge and, you know, like ha starting from nothing and just working and living off the land, I became very attached to the family, like really, really attached. And then I was kind of like, what way do I want to go with this? Do I want to continue down the line of the Decades Challenge or will I literally just do it as a legacy challenge? We have watched them start from the very first day where we start off with literally just a shell of a house and we've been adding to it we are now four kids in yeah four kids in um is our girl is she pregnant again caroline who by the way just literally went out to eat the cake from the cow plant and got eaten herself i don't think she's actually pregnant um let's actually check with mc command and see if she's pregnant um do, 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 do. is she pregnant she is pregnant. She's in her first trimester, but we don't know she's pregnant yet. All right, because of the decades challenge, there's no such thing as pregnancy tests or things like that. But it's I've been finding it very tedious, and I have been watching um a wonderful simmer play it and the decades challenge. I find I enjoy it more when I'm watching it instead of actually playing it myself. I had so much fun when I was doing the legacy challenge, and then when my save files all went, I lost, of course, our beautiful legacy challenge so i have decided this started off as a decades challenge but now we'll be transitioning into a legacy challenge because of course um our main heir was charles and when we were doing the decades challenge the the heirs can only be male um but because i'm going to switch it to the legacy challenge i'm thinking the last born daughter will be the heir for the next generation if i do it that way um i really really like this family i really want to see how things go but i do really want to do a little bit more to the house and with the decades challenge we can't we can only do a certain amount to the house so this is why we are transitioning from the decades challenge of course to the legacy challenge but my style of a legacy challenge because they're making so much money from the farm i want the father to go out and have a job so i'm gonna have the women looking after the farm and the kids so like um we have cow plants that i want to get rid of they are part of the generation um the decade challenge so we had to have them but now we do not need to have them and i want to get rid of them off the farm because i don't want my kids and i don't want our beautiful caroline to be eaten by a freaking cow plant you can die from being eaten by a cow plant so bye bye cow plant bye bye baby cow plant okay there we go when I did my original um, Rags to Riches series, I had two pet cow plants and I looked after them every day. We never got et by them. These ones are a little bit more tedious. So what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna give this house a little bit of a revamp. I want to kind of um, modernize it and give it some electricity. So guys, if you like the way I'm taking this, this uh, new series and bringing it around to the way I like to do things, Make sure you smash that like button and you're going to see what this looks like in five seconds. Okay, so it's taken me about an hour to decide what I wanted to do and how I was going to change this a bit. So the first big change you're going to notice, of course, is going to be the inside of the house. Because I did give her a bigger kitchen and I added some more lights and I gave a, a, a different back door exit. And I changed the upstairs um, a lot as well because we do have two more babies that are toddlers downstairs, which I've actually made a toddler room as well. And she is actually pregnant, but they don't know she's pregnant yet. So I had to do MC Command Center because I couldn't remember. So let's just go and have a look at the changes. So this is actually the upstairs right now. I did want to use a proper um, stairs but because i already have these guys okay you really need to use the bathroom i do have the bathroom upstairs um as well um and they all kind of have their own location so this is going to be of course our beautiful laura beth 
Laura's room. And this will, of course, be um, Charles Jr.'s um, side of the room as well. So when he is done, I am just going to kind of get him to claim that bed. There we go. Um, okay, so we have, of course, our beautiful little Mary and John downstairs. And this is the change that we have made. It's a completely separate um, room from Charles and Laura's. Sorry, from... Where's she going? To puke? Oh, because I don't have a bathroom downstairs for them yet. Okay, so this is just... Um, okay, can you just go back over there? Thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, we'll do with all of this stuff now in a minute. But, of course, this is the little toddler room now. All I do is put a wall. That's it. And we will start to kind of change up the walls as well because we're not doing decades challenge anymore. And um, I don't know, I just kind of like this a little bit better. So this is the living room. I know we are in autumn right now, which is grand because we'll be in winter soon enough. And in my house, I always decorate um, in November. Yeah. <laughs> so the stairs is now over here by the front door this is the new kitchen i'm going to say charles built it for her because um it was her present it's her present for giving him so many beautiful kids and all of that so it's a new kind of presses and an up-to-date kind of kitchen cooker and fridge Um, we still have like the off the grid kind of lighting but who are you eating boy zombie cake really zombie cake okay uh, she's gone out to unload and set the laundry down. Although I really prefer if they didn't do, do that. Um, okay, so Charles is going to have to get up and do some work soon. So this is what I do at the back. I put the windows here and the back door here so she can look out into her little garden when she is cleaning. Um, so she can still... Oh, I love the fact that she put them in there. I love that. I really, really do actually love that. I turned the little you know, outhouse, it used to be an outhouse, into, wow, my phone is going off like mad and I do not like it. Um, But I did turn it into a shed where we've got this pumpkin carving station and, of course, his woodworking table. We are coming up, of course, to Harvest Fest. Whose birthday is that? It's John's birthday? Okay, it's John's birthday, so we are going to do an age up as well at the start of this episode. Our girl is very uncomfortable from being eaten by the cat plant, okay? So I'm just going to have her come here and just rock, just to chill. Um, This little dude really needs to go back to bed because um, he's wrecking my head. But he's about to age up as well. So I'm going to let her just chill for a little bit and rock. Um... Charles, you have to get prepared. We are actually going to give Charles a job. Um, I know I have him down as a farmer and crafter, but I am going to give him a job as well. To um, sorry guys, I just have to mute this phone. Okay, so we are going to give him um a job, another job. Okay, we'll send him out on odd jobs. So that's the best thing. He does not like using his phone. That much I did find. Odd jobs don't start till 8 a.m. So you, my boy, leave your wife alone. Why don't you go here and do some furniture? Let's do a an end table because we've got lots of kiddos and that's what we need. So you're gonna have to super sell as well. Iron us sells big bucks. Iron us sells big, big bucks. Okay. And then let's um, supercell all of these. We gotta weed everything. All right, we're doing good. We're good, good. I got rid of the all the stuff. You can come out here and throw this away as well. Using a moth. Okay, so we have our girl here, and I'm actually going. All right, she's up. She's up. It's Wednesday. They also have school today, and they've not done any homework. Bad mama bear. <laughs> I'm a bad mama bear. Right, oh, and we have this poof as well that uh, Caroline did knit for her. Um, did you get one? 
No, but you were meant to do a school project, dude. Okay, could you start working on that as well? We have a lot of stuff and I just really want them to do their homework. So when they're all finished here, get them to do the homework. Uh, okay, Karin, how are you doing? Okay, you've had a little bit of rest, so I'm going to have her... There's a happiness potion. Oh my god, yeah, because I got her to look at the... Where did that go? Did that go into the fridge? I'm hoping it went into the fridge. Open. It did not go into the fridge. Okay, have we got a full cake that kids did not eat? Okay, I need you to go and put that away. Okay, so someone already ate the zombie cake. So I'm going to have Caroline go and cook a new cake for the baby. And when they all come home from school and stuff, we'll have a little party. It will be our first party where we can actually... Has she got any friends besides her kids? Okay, we've got Charles, John, Mary, Laura Beth, uh, Clara, Charles Jr. and who's Jack? Our dog! How can we invite you to hang out? You died. I'm telling you, this game is so glitchy lately. Okay. They're all getting their schoolwork done. They're both at school in an hour. Our little woman here is, of course... Your parenting. Right, we're gonna have to do some toddler stuff and change her diaper. Okay, dude, you really need to put some clothes on. Oh, right, we can send them to preschool. No. So we can. We're not doing decades challenge anymore, so if we want them to have jobs outside the house, we can. The kids can go to preschool and I don't know, I think I kind of want Caroline to start doing her bakery skills. So I don't think we got the notification yet that she's pregnant. No, we didn't. So she's baking a cake. Here's our beautiful daughter. Okay. Setting the table. Oh, you are such a sweetie. Are you still doing homework? Are you setting... You're setting the table. Why, why are the kids all setting the table? Uh, Charles, you better be out doing some gardening. He has already done it. Wow, okay. I love that we have so much money. Okay. Let's go super sell these. Okay. Um, that can be thrown in here. Okay, there we go. He's super selling everything. Okay, wow, okay. John is actually a wild toddler. Uh, can we change him? Just put him in his everyday clothes, okay, because he is wrecking my bud. Feeling sad from baby blues? Okay, your, your wife, Caroline, is the one that carries the babies, okay. You go use the toilet, and I think maybe you should have yourself a bath. Everyone has gone to school, okay. Um, can you listen to your teacher? Listen to your teacher. I'm not sure now if we'll have the last born girl where we follow her life for the legacy or if we will do it for the first born girl. I would really like to do it with Laura Beth and go down the path of, do you know like in the Ingalls where she married, um, oh god I'm going to have to remember now, and she had her own little house and stuff. I might actually look that up too. Follow it that way. Um. Oh wow, there is lots of snapdragons. Can you super sell these as well? Oh, and just harvest the roses. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I sound like a funky, but the birthday cake is done. Can we put some of the birthday candles onto that as well, please? Ooh, level two imagination. I can't believe it's already John's birthday. And tomorrow is actually Halloween, so we can have like an actual little Halloween gathering. I do actually want the kids to meet some friends in school, so I might get them to make some friends. Um, that's more important, I think. Um, they need friendies. Okay. And you can actually go and do an odd job now, because it's after 8 o'clock. 
So Caroline is helping like with the watering and the picking of the apples back here. Um John is still doing like his stuff and everything here. He's wrecking. These are the flowers that we make so much money from. Um Barbeth met Evie while at school. Oh cool, look they're making friends. This girl is stank, so she's gonna have to come and change her diaper. Okay, so in game tomorrow, um, it's class is Harvest Fest, but I changed um all those holidays to like, like Halloween, Christmas, all that kind of stuff. So, so we have, I've de started to decorate outside. Okay, so I've got like a few little bits, but I want the next episode to be our first kind of Halloween as a family of uh, six. And I don't know if she's actually still pregnant or if I'm after cancelling that out. I have no idea. But because we're not doing decades challenge anymore, we can exact we can do a pregnancy test. So at the start of the next episode, we will be finding out if we are pregnant with baby number five. Although we kind of did MC command center, and we know she's pregnant. Um, but we want to wait until the next episode. So we will be celebrating our first Halloween where we will be doing pumpkin carving because we have a pumpkin carving station here and I will move that out and we'll set up a whole little spooky area where they can have their first um, Halloween party in costumes and I have the kids making friends at school so they can invite friends over for the festivities but until the next episode guys I hope you are liking our new version of the decades challenge slash legacy challenge um, I will put it out there and see who they want the next heir to be. Will we go with the last born uh, daughter or the first born daughter? I would really like to see where Laura Beth's life does go ahead. So if you guys agree with me and want to see how Laura Beth turns out, then make sure you leave that in the comments as well. And guys, I love you so much and I hope you are enjoying the new Legacy Challenge and I shall see you guys on another episode. Bye!